had come in that's made them kind of think that way. Maybe some of the threatening messages his mum's got. Maybe they... Um, JD, do you know what? What I would say to you is that there is dangerous places everywhere and you can go to Tenerife and have an absolutely amazing holiday and stay really safe and be fine. Um, I would say that that would happen anywhere you go. So I would be as a single mum be like oh can I take my kids here oh I can I'm going to stay in the actual um, place where I'm staying I'm only going to go out during the day you can obviously definitely make choices that will make it a lot safer for you um just be alert yeah just don't let don't you know some of these robbers are on the side of the road and they pretend to limp they pretend the cars break down just don't help like you're not in a situation to help just keep going um there's a lot of places where you know what about Psychic Mara I don't know who that is um i would i wouldn't cancel a holiday over it i would just say you know before you go look where the local hospital is where's the local police station do a search of the area like of hot spots not to to stay at i always say one tip that's really good is when you go there take a map of the area you're staying and go up to someone on the hotel desk and be like can you point out any places around here that are particular particularly dangerous and they'll mark it off and i would say the same i did the same when i went to new york city i was like where can i go and where should i not go and they just mark it off on the map and then you just avoid those places london is just as dangerous 100 percent manchester there's always going to be um it's just about having local knowledge and just kind of saying um where do you think would be the best place for me to stay away from oh, i didn't see it blue storm um there's a couple of really good ones. Uh, Matilda, the psychic medium on here from Australia as well. Like, I've got full faith in her. I've had a reading off her and I really believe in her. Um, this is just who's making everyone else look rubbish. Why do you want to battle me today? Um, hey, honey. Exactly. It, it 100% is. Um, Manchester is perfectly safe. No health bars left. So all we have is the update is literally a sighting came in um, a little while ago from yesterday. Um, is uh, Matilda, psychic medium which people think may have been Jay. This is it slightly lightened. Um, Ayanapa. Wow, I'm so sorry, Jack. I hope he's okay. Um, this was the actual original shot and just after it's been lightened. This was from yesterday. Um, to me, it looks like Jay, but it also looks like any other male out and about walking. Um, so it's really hard to tell. No, I'm not. If he dies, he dies. Lovely Jaden. Um, I imagine you're about three block. Um I'm just going to have a quick search for Jay on the... Oh, why? I've just something I nearly unblocked in them. Um, just has, looks like he has, has muddy shoes. He has muddy shoes in that in that in the energy clips. So I'm just going to see... The, so I'm just going to get up the latest. Um, yeah, I do think that's true. I think... Um, I think if he was out and about walking he would have got help by now um on google there's a few new pictures they look that looks kind of that could be gray couldn't it? it could be black it could be blue it's just literally it's not um i've been watching the live cam the person has a backpack i just think he had a backpack on as well yeah we did listen to um we did listen to lucy's um chat earlier i'm just going to actually I do have a picture of it somewhere. This is the actual, what Jay was wearing. Um, he had a black bag on as well. Um, so this is what he was wearing. So 57 minutes ago, the most recent article was says a friend of Jay Slater's has criticized the Spanish police undertaking the search of the British teenager, claiming they are just not doing enough. He wasn't wearing black shorts. That was, um, he's worm food now, lovely Chris. I hope you don't have children. And if you do, go and look at them and look look yourself in the mirror. Um, yeah, so he he they've they've he was wearing this, and then obviously they put out the wrong description of a white t-shirt, black shorts. This is from his mum off of off a of Facebook. What do I personally think's happened? Um, do you know what? when it's a missing person case? There is so many um, op options it could be. Um, so what I would say is we're looking at several options so he's either lost and alive lost and dead kidnapped missing on purpose or murdered and they are kind of the the choices that there could be possible if you know what i mean um how do i go on to that 
um, the camera thing. What do you put in? I don't have the link off the top of my head here. I'll send you a link. Thank you, Hayley. Can you tell me where you're sending it to me as well? I can do it either Instagram or Facebook. I don't know. I'm I'm getting a really weird feeling that he's still with us. And I'm not a psychic medium by any by any stretch of the imagination. But I just don't think we've got enough evidence to say he's dead. Um Oh, in here, you won't be able to put a link in here. Um, Masker Valley telling me fly cam. Thank you. Masker Valley. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, no, why am I doing them? Really? I'm just missing you. I just, I would never want to presume someone's child is dead without actual evidence. And right now it's only been just over 72 hours. You sent an IG, perfect. Um, so I would literally not want to think otherwise. Um, I think someone just sent it me on Insta, actually. Um, I mean, if he's out... The thing is, right, it's, it's really awkward, right? If he's out there on his own and he really is lost, the chances of him still being alive are very slim. I've got, got to be honest, yeah, they're very slim. Um, I would say under 5% if he has been taken for ransom or they're just withholding him, there's every chance he could still be alive. I, I'm actually a criminologist. Calling all flex. commercial what gas and plumbing engineers who are looking cut. for a new challenge. Shields um, have been serving the southwest for over 50 years. And we're going to get rid of this. Um, there is a car there. But it just looks like it's a searcher's car, I think. Because um, Lucy did update yesterday saying that she was out searching in a white car. Um... I can't lie. You aren't going to find anyone doing a TikTok like. No, but Ben, what I can do is get an awareness. Um, you're not going to get anything at all by coming in here and actually trolling, are you? Um, you're probably better off taking your face for a shit, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, most cars are white, um, obviously. But Lucy was out searching in a um, white car yesterday. There's not enough activity there for me to think that something major has happened. Um it's very well that someone's just parked there and they're looking um, looking for somewhere to... Um, looking for him. The thing is, do you know what I think... Um, what I think is dodgy is that Rachel's a boy's mum who went to fill with the mountains. Why do you think that's dodgy, user? If I, can't, if you can, if I can ask you that. Um, it's really weird. We don't know who he was with we don't know who's um yeah it's really hard because i don't want to say that in things because i don't really want to get in trouble um there's a lot of things that aren't adding up there's a lot of things we can never be sure of um so this is from his um this is from the airbnb that i read arrow goes to the airbnb um of the place that he was staying and then this is the morning after. Does that look like fire to anyone else or am I making it up in my head? Because I've not heard anything about a fire. But to me, that looks like fire and smoke. But is that just the way the picture's taken? But this is his last Snapchat. So why is no one mentioning the fire? It's clouds. What? Falling out the sky. It's lights with is it? Okay, it's lights. So anyway, this is the last. Ep this is the place that he was supposed to have stayed, according to the um, the Facebook, which is here, the Airbnb that was rented. Um, but we don't know who it was. We don't know at this moment um, whether this is. Um, we don't know a lot about it. What did someone just say then? If you look at the floor near that white car, the last update photo was the same. Yeah, we did look at that earlier. He's in the car and the driveway looking at photos. It's just um, 
the yeah, we believe that's where the Airbnb is, where he stayed. But I don't understand why. Um, oh, it's just so hard. No, Tia. We don't know who the driver went car. People are saying he went with two Moroccan men. Um, and then people are saying Jay was really streetwise and stuff. Do you know what I mean? I personally wouldn't go with two, not just Moroccan men, two British men, two anything in a foreign country. I just wouldn't. Um, but then if you've been partying and you're probably not in your right mind and you're making decisions or you're promised like cocaine, whatever, um, maybe you would have done it. Um, it's, um, they're, they're pointing to a part on the car that, um, that, that has been seen in loads of different cars. So this car was also seen in that last picture of Jay, um, where he's wearing the green shirt, uh, the white gray shirt with the green bit. Yeah, the video of the two men coming out of the bush is actually on my profile. Um, I did put it up yesterday. Um, we don't know if they've been, they, we don't know if they've been um, questioned. We don't know too much about it. Um, there were some worrying things put on like TripAdvisor and stuff. Like I've just made a video about it. Um, but things like this, like in our case, a white small hatchback car, two male thieves, one in car, one outside smoking. The one outside the car was limping. Close the car. Don't let them inside. The road is full of wallets, passports, cards. We discovered those items of, while well, we were picking ours up from the side of the road. This is right back from 2000, um, 2020. Then we have this one that was on the page. Um, I actually had this happen to me when I was there in March. I have no memory of what actually happened. I woke up locked in the car in the mountains with cuts all over me and 400 euros robbed off me. Lucky our family lived there and I was able to get home, albeit after five and a half hours with no water, purely off the knowledge I have reference points. Like, this is from the same area in March, the same mountains. This one here went in December. My sister-in-law got drugged and attempted to be dragged into a car. She was meeting them for a few days prior and last night they did this. She was so lucky we was there and got her. I don't know what had happened. This wasn't in the mountains, wasn't far from a resort. We believe they were trying to gain trust and then take her somewhere. Do you know what I mean? And then th literally the guy who did it had multiple passports and phones. So they were obviously doing it a lot. Um... And this is happening all the time. And this this one was December. The last one was March. So it's obviously a gang of people are, are actually operating out there now. What's that picture of? Why have I got that picture? Uh, yeah, this was just off the live thing. Um, this is scary. Well, Lucy said that from what we can hear, the, the times Lucy has been said to have heard from is 8 o'clock, 8.15 at 8.50. So we just don't know. Uh, they're on TripAdvisor. No, I don't know, Jay. Oh, Collie's in the room. Top mod. Um, try and watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. We don't know if Brad spoke to him. Not that he's come forward and said. What would you search in? Um, just the area where he went missing. I don't know if it said it on that one, actually. Somebody sent me that, to be fair. I didn't search it myself. Um, so you put in review of Masca Valley. Um, did you either go fund me? I'm going to have a look at that now because people keep asking me that. Um, Collie Nguyen here. Yeah, uh, Collie is soon to be Ella's wife and... Um, she's a badass. Um, I think I called her feral the other night by accident, so I'm just going to repeat it again. Um, let me go. Um, yeah, I um, my battery, my battery on my Samsung gets down to about five percent and then dies. Um, Can you explain why the photo got a circle arrow on the photo? What, on the car? Because Jay was seen that night, his last photo, the one with him in the grey with the green stripes outside the club. There was a white car behind him and a man who looked Moroccan-ish staring at him. And that was the same car that he took the picture of the next morning. So we know that it's linked to Jay um, and was possibly the car that drove him out there in the morning. What we don't understand is why Jay left very quickly in the morning without waiting for a bus, without waiting for a lift back. And he literally... Uh, Frankie, I've always been a detective, actually, darling. I actually run a true crime page on here, and I'm a criminologist. If you don't want to stay, you don't have to. Oh, you've got no choice. You've been muted. 
by a dude. Um, let me get to the... Um, yes, there is that white that white car is a common theme. We also know, if you go and look at one of the videos I did yesterday, um, there is two men that pull up a white car on the side of the road and then they are down an embankment. They wait for... Um, they wait for another car to go back past and then the two men come up from the embankment, open the boot of the car, they're messing around and stuff. It looks very similar to that car. Um, we don't, I, no, I haven't seen any CCTV that's been released. So I'm looking for the GoFundMe on here because I want to go in to read it and I need to make sure I've got the right one, that's all. Obviously the group's decided to. <laughs> so Mandy, that's the video with the two men in is not searchers. The video that people were saying it was the white car back again at 8.40, that was the searchers. But the actual men in the car, they've still put on there um, that they need to know who their men are. So when they then when they said they were there at 6.40, that was Lucy going out there to check on um, the sighting that had been seen earlier with the two men. Um, just why well, should just Google it? Right. Um, it's probably quite well looked at today, isn't it? Because it made money very quickly. Jay Slater. Go fund me. Lucy May. Okay. So I'm going to read out the exact um, description. It's actually at 18k now, which is amazing. It just says, Hi everyone, my name's Lucy. I've come on holiday to Tenerife to attend the NRG festival with my friend Jay and another friend. On the last day of the festival, I left alone earlier than everyone else because I was tired from the weekend. I woke up to a call off of Jay at 8.30am. So this is a completely different time again. Was it not 8.15 yesterday? And then 8.50 today? It's just worrying me that. He was lost, so he... Ha she had a phone call at 8.30 saying he was lost in the mountains. He wasn't aware of his surroundings. He desperately needed a drink and his phone was on 1%. He had met two people on Sunday night and left them to go to their apartment, left with them to go to their apartment. Their apartment was miles away from civilization in a very secluded spot. He left at 8am and walked half an hour before frantically ringing me when his phone reached 1%. This was three days ago now, and no one has heard or seen from him since. His last location was on an off-road track, which was a 10-hour walk from his hotel. The weather conditions up there are terrible for someone in shorts and t-shirt, both in the day and at night. He has no water for when it's warm, though, and throughout the day, and he has no coat, suitable clothing for when it's cold at night. It was one degree and extremely windy, windy when I looked out in the middle of the night for him. We are so worried, and we just want him home. Please help if you can, and share fire far and wide. Thank you for reading. So the GoFundMe started at, um, looked at Lucy's profile where, Frankie, on Facebook. Um, the GoFundMe started at 10K was the aim, and then it hit 10K and it was quickly changed to 30K. And I'm just going to make a note of that because people keep mentioning it. Um, the family did say no GoFundMe yesterday, but this morning they decided maybe because obviously they're going to be searching for longer. Um maybe because they, they literally gonna have to stay there longer um this gofundme is the real one so it's being said on facebook that um they would now allow one and, and this would be it i can't find the thing where it said um it said the reason for the gofundme somewhere earlier but it's not on here now Did Frankie ever say where to look at her profile? What they were saying? Could someone pin it if she has? Because I have not seen it. Facebook. Um... What is she under? Lucy May. What was her last name? Law. Oh, Murray, you just met Quillette. <laughs> There's nothing on her profile. Oh, of course, I would in the group, yeah. The 
police do have his mum's phone to track the scams and the calls coming in. And that's what makes me think, yeah, the police may actually believe this is a kidnapping now. Because the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to want to be able to speak to the kidnappers. We know his mum got a Snapchat last night saying, say goodbye to your son. We know she's had several calls saying we have your son and we're going to kill your son. So she's had those phone calls with people from a, with a Northern accent. So it would seem like police are now maybe taking that seriously because they've given the phone to Interpol so they can track exactly what's going on in that phone. And the afternoon, the search for Slater is resumed to the mountains. Now today, um, uh, Jay's friend Lucy launches a GoFundMe page at 5 a.m., at 9 a.m., Accrington and Rossdale College, where Slater was completing his apprenticeship, said it's deeply concerned about Slater's disappearance. And on the morning, the search actually continues with no outcome so far. Um, I mean, there's been people in the search group for as long as yesterday saying, please start paying correct people in the area because this is how it works out here we're dealing with dangerous people um and you need to like obviously pay these people for tips and stuff um I don't know, it's just it's just it's just uncomfortable at the moment because so many things are being changed and moved around and it's hard to work with um details that aren't staying the same if you know what i mean let me have a look can i just why don't let me open that page oh again Um, just let me just check because I've got so many messages coming through, and I don't want to miss one off if it's important to do it now. Huh? Why has that come back when I've already replied to it? Let me close this down then. I'll be away. Um, there's just there's just a couple of things that it's um. <laughs> So we heard that, there's, that we did hear that somebody um, possibly found his phone, but that hasn't been confirmed anywhere. He's got no water. Um, oh, this is interesting. So we're going to go to the Sun newspaper now, where the article is called Mystery New Pals, who were last to see Brit reveal their final conversation. So this is going to be really important. So I'm just waiting for that to load. Hey dear. So I'm just checking. But this, I know, but I just really want to see what they've said. I wouldn't normally use this sub, but I just want, if they're the only ones that have got this article, I just want to know who these people are. Um, it's not, I wouldn't buy the sun, do you know what I mean? I'll pay for it. So I just want to know what they, these people said. Right, she said, we managed to find the house. I knocked on the door and there were two people there. The mystery pair told Lucy Jay had gone out to buy cigarettes before returning to their apartment. Once he got back, he told them instantly he wanted to go back to his accommodation. Lucy said they told me he'd spoke to the next door neighbour and they told him there was a bus every 10 minutes back to Los Cristianos. The bus stop was right next to the house. So obviously, if he had gone to get the bus, he wouldn't have got lost because if the stop's visible from the front door... Where could he have gone? And I think that's so vital because we've been told this several times today that the bus came every 10 minutes. So if you walked to the bus stop and you missed one, would you not just wait for the next one? Like, why would you Why would you leave and go into the wilderness? Um, why would you do that? Because it doesn't seem like, Diane, it doesn't seem like he was planning on going home. He was planning on coming back to the party. He got cigarettes to come back and then instantly went, I want to go back to my accommodation. So did he come back to the apartment and feel like a really weird vibe? Did he feel something really strange? Something was off? I know myself, like when you're partying, sometimes all of a sudden everyone becomes your enemy very quickly. There's a paranoia. There's a fact they could have been having conversations about what they were going to do. And he's come back and heard it. There's so many things that could happen. Or maybe he felt he had to leave. Well, if he was going back to that party on the sash, he's not going to bring back water. They've got water. Like, it just seems weird that as soon as he got back with cigarettes, he's like, I've got to go. I've got to get out of here. Um, the bus isn't... Well, Jojo, what, what Lucy's saying is that the next one neighbor had told him, like, it would be every 10 minutes. So you'd just wait, wouldn't you? And if you look on your phone and you see it's a 12-hour walk, you're like, I'll wait till the next one then, even if it's six hours. It's, it's still going to be better than walking. I'd be surprised... If a house, 
that is an Airbnb doesn't have some kind of ring doorbell footage. It's in the middle of nowhere. You would think it would, wouldn't you? Or am I like asking too much with that? You've got insurance. You've got people staying there. You've got to know what's happening. Um, would I don't really stay in a lot of Airbnbs, but you'd think it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, they've got to have, you know, that's got to count for everything, that footage, because is he leaving and then no one else leaves after him or is, is the car leaving afterwards to go and get him back? There's got to be something. Uh, no, I've not been to Tenerife. You're not allowed in Spain. What, to have doorbell? It was, it was like a building. It was like a building in the middle of nowhere, quite rustic. I imagine it was still, would have still been, um, like they still would have had a camera. No, not as far as we know, they haven't searched the house. So Lucy says like, Lucy says that she got there quite early to knock on the door. Like literally she's reporting a missing to the police and to the British embassy within 14 minutes of his phone turning off. So she's got to get to that house within like the first hour first hour and a half in missing and she's saying we drove around all day but there was literally no sign of him anywhere how far can he get in that hour that you pro that you can't see him that why has he gone straight off the road why has he gone out where the cactuses are rather than just sticking to the road that is the shortest way back to where he's come from i just don't get it so what's that saying mm -hmm. Just reading this quickly, guys. Please do promise to keep an open mind about his disappearance yesterday. Have scanned his accommodation for clues. When you say you scan something, that would normally mean you go in and just have a quick look, that you're not doing any kind of forensic testing, you're not taking fingerprints, you're not, you know, looking deeply. Scanning something, that word is very, very clearly not doing a good job. Um, Jay's mum said there was nothing found untoward there. She said police have been into Jay's room today. I've been into his room as well, but everything of Jay's was neatly hung up. It was just a normal room. There's nothing on toward that. Well, police, if they're running a proper investigation, should not be letting anyone, including his mum, into his room because it's obviously we don't know if that's a crime scene. We don't know. We don't know anything. We don't know what, what happened to him. Um, so you'd think they would want to keep. There could be a clue in there. There could be anything. After scouring his room with cops, she said his passport was there along with all his euros, which I've got now. I'm not sure he had any money on him when he made that last call to his friend Lucy on Monday morning before he vanished. I haven't slept since this all began. I've got no plans to go out to the search. I just want to be there if he does show up. But I've got a bad feeling. I'm being warned there's a lot of bad people in Tenerife. Oh, Bernie. Um, I'm sure Bernie's out on the search right now. Um... I can't look at the Discord when I'm live because I don't have it on my thing. But I just don't understand why even there, his mum said his last call was with Lucy because we're already hearing on the dis on the shop that he actually spoke to Brad at eight thirty one. So I just don't understand why that's being left out. Do you know I mean that's a very clear step in the timeline? Do you know I mean it's very? I don't know. It's very concerning some of these parts. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Um, I'm not battling. I don't know, Lily, a lot of people have struggled with that question as well. Um, his mum said she won't go out on the search. No, she's too tired. Um, she's struggling. Why would you not walk three times? This is what I find... 8.30 was some, one of the times that Lucy gave today as well and 8.31 for the, the call for Brad so I just that's three different times for Lucy and Brad is either calling or not um, no one's really spoke about Brad have they um, he's barely been been mentioned so um, Jay went on holiday with Lucy and Brad but we know this is the thing right this whole timeline right Brad is taken out of the timeline c consistently so not only was he not in the timeline but we're also not hearing where he was that night because we know that Lucy didn't go back to this house party because she left the club much earlier because she was tired from a weekend. So where was Brad? Where was Brad that night? You know, I'm not saying Brad has done anything wrong, but why would he not be in the timeline? Like these, this is a vital part of the story.
We don't know Miss Big Air. We know they left. The, we left. They left the festival, went to a club, and then around eight thirty, apparently, he went back to this house party. But where was Brad? Because we know Lucy had already left way before that. So I take it that Brad, Lucy wasn't even there to stop him going. There was reports yesterday that one of his friends, it must have been Brad, was telling him not to get in the car. And he was like, nah, I'm going to go. Um, would you not get in that car with him? Would you not kind of at least do something? Um, but but why, would you, why, would you, why would you be not in the timeline? I don't get that. Yeah, Lucy says she went back alone. So there's, as far as we know, there's, we, he, he's they, he's one of three on this on the trip. No one else has been. Um, just doesn't make any sense. 